Ball one. Jim Turner now signals the Yankee bullpen. Low ball two. Magley's control is off course today. Art Dittmar starts to warm up for New York. Sal's always been a good control pitcher. And when he's missing as often as he's been missing this inning, then it becomes evident. He hadn't got the touch. Another thing, he's not an overpowering pitcher. A guy like a Turley or Duran can get behind and just fire that ball by him. Foul back out of play. Two and one. There's Dittmar. And then, too, uh, a fellow who's pitched as long as Magley and knows as much about pitching as he does can often get by on pitching savvy on days we don't have their stuff. And then, of course, the best of them on given days just don't get by. It's over. Strike two, two, two. going to third. Sal had to get him all alone. Tie ball game, one and one. The run batted in for Batoyas. Kaline sped home from third. And Maxwell advanced to third. Magley had to tag him on the face there. And then the only place he could with uh, Batoya trying to slide in. Here's Red Wilson, three for 25. One time Wisconsin football team captain and guard. Tigers have picked up some good ball players out of Wisconsin. Harvey Keene, Billy Heff, Red Wilson. Yankees got one. Tony Kubek. Foul back out of play. Two strikes. Charlie Maxwell on third base. Two strike count on Wilson. One all last of the second. Ball low outside one and two. Just outside, 2-2. Two -two. Wouldn't bite at it. Hand. 
low. Three and two. Charlie Maxwell on third base. Two outs and a full count on Red Wilson with the pitcher due up next. One run in, one one, second inning. Ball four and he's on. Two walks this inning. In addition to a bunt. Which K-Line beat out to start the inning. And here's Frank Larry. He's at two for 19. Back one, fouled it off. Wilson on first, Maxwell on third. There's a slow hopper, McDougal have to hurry, and his throw gets him to retire the side. One run for the Tigers, one hit, no Yankee errors, two men left on for Detroit. At the end of two innings, the Yankees, one run, two hits, no errors, one left on. The Tigers, one run, one hit, no errors, two left on. One, one, end of two. In the American League, Baltimore, Chicago, 2-2. Two, two. At the end of an inning and a half, Odell and Keegan. Odell hit a homer in the second inning. Boston, Kansas City start later. Cleveland, three, Washington, nothing. At the end of four innings, Mossy and Stobbs. In the National League, the Cardinals got a run in the first of the seventh to tie Pittsburgh. It's one all at the end of six and a half innings. Jackson and Friend. Los Angeles won Cincinnati nothing at the end of two and a half innings. Newcomb and Klipstein. Cubs three. Phils two at the end of three and a half innings. Drott and Simmons. Anderson homered in the first. San Francisco won. Milwaukee won at the end of an inning and a half. McCormick and Conley. Crandall homered in the second. As we get ready to go into the third inning, the Scooter is coming over to sit in with you for a little while. As we swap about from radio to TV, we'll be back in a little bit. Come in, Phil. Hi, everybody. Sal Magley batting. Strike one. Ball one, one and one. Oh, 
Ball two, two and two. What are you doing? Back in the seats. Two balls, two strikes. What did you do? Oh, you did something. There it is. Frank Larry on the mound for the Tigers. He was the last Tiger pitcher to earn a victory before the Tigers went into this slump. Ball three, three and two. Sal, not one of the better hitting pitchers, though the last time out he hit a home run, his second of his major league career, in Washington, deep into the bullpen. Strike three, swing. Sal Magny goes down on strikes. And now we pause for station identification. WPIX, the television station of the New York Daily News. In Hank Bauer's place, Hank Bauer started the ball game, came to bat in the first inning and struck out, but Hank had injured a back muscle in batting practice, pulled a muscle in his back, and was taken out of the game. Seaburn's first appearance. Foul off his right foot, and man, that's going to hurt. Oh, man. Woo, those things really hurt. Most of the times you lose a toenail, besides having to cut open your spike shoe. There's Yogi Berra on deck. Yog was hit in that finger that he was just looking at by a foul tip. He keeps that out of the glove. He knows where the cameras are situated, Yog. He's a lens louse. That's what we call him. One of the nicest guys in the business, though, Yogi. Ball one, one and one. One away here in the top of the third. The Yankees won and the Tigers won. Seaburn batting 219. Five doubles, two homers, eight runs batted in. Drive to right center. Keen and Kaline converging on it, and Keen takes it as Kaline lost that ball in the sun. Ron Sieben flies out to Harvey Keen in right center field. This is a rough sun field here at Briggs Stadium. And there's Yogi Berra, who doubled the right center field in the first inning. Strike one. Bill Summers calling balls and strikes. You can hear him all the way over in New York from here. Yogi really handles that bat like it's a toothpick. Another base hit for Yogi. And again, Yogi did not hit the ball real well, but it's not how you hit him, it's where you hit him. Yogi's two for two. Third hit off Frank Larry, and that'll bring up Tony Kubek, who beat out an infield single in the first inning. Hit a high hopper over the pitcher's box. Ball one inside. Larry fakes a throw to first base. Tony Kubek. One of the bright young stars for the Yankees. Strike one, one and one.
There's Casey Stengel standing on the steps of the Yankee dugout, soaking in a little of this beautiful sunshine. <laughs> He's on the top step. He's a circus to watch that case. Foul out of play. Strike two, one ball and two strikes. Too bad practicing his nine iron shot. There's the Yankee skipper. He doesn't miss a trick. He watches everything that goes on in the game. Ball two, two and two, just inside. Jogi Berra down at first base. Ray Boone playing in back of him. Ralph Hawk, the first base coach. swinging. So for the Yankees in the top of the third, no runs, one hit, no Tiger errors, one man left. The score at the end of two and a half innings, the Yankees won and the Tigers won. Played umpire, Magley warming up with Yogi Berra. It's an unusual shot from this angle. You can see Kubek and McDougal and Mantle all the way out in center field. Yogi's throw down to McDougal. Bill Simmons, man, you can hear every word he said. All right, come on, boys, let's pep it up. The umpires like to keep the game moving, you know. It makes for a better game. There's a picture of Frank Bowling. Good-looking youngster. Strike one. Bowling he bounced out to third base in the first inning. 1-1 one, one the score here in the last of the third. Foul. Right over in the Tiger dugout. Strike two. There's a picture of the Tiger dugout on the third base side. Another foul. This one off Bowling's left foot. Magley's fastball comes in and down to a right-hand batter. A lot of ground balls. There's a drive to left field. Just foul in the corner. Norm Seaborn chased that ball. Ooh, they say baseball is just a matter of inches. The difference between an extra base hit and a long strike. Bowling, who was all the way down a second, comes back. He'll have to catch his breath now. Take a little bit of time on the side. Two strikes to count on Bowling. Side. Ball one, one ball, two strikes. Probably see that sidearm curve now of Matt Lee's after he brushes a hitter back. There it is, but he pops it in the short center. Mickey Mantle right there takes it for out number one. One away as the Yankees whip that ball around the infield. Here's Billy Martin who walked in the first inning. Billy likes to wear those short sweatshirts and show the muscles in his arms. An attempted body misses strike one. Trying to bunt a little bit on Magley and got a little bit tired chasing those bunts. 
Looks like Billy's standing a long ways from home plate. World one, one and one. Ground ball, Kubek in the hole, the long throw. In time to get Martin. Two away. And the batter will be Harvey Keene, who in the first inning, on a hit and run play, bounced into a double play. Keene, who's usually a lot of trouble against the Yankees, has not hit a hit so far in this three game series. Ball one. The ball that bowling popped out to center field was the first ball hit out of the infield on Mangley. Sal has walked three men, striked one, one or more. And the only base hit off him has been a bunt single by Al Kaline. The rest of the balls hit with slow taps to the infield. Ball two, two and one. Keene stands a long ways from home plate, but he steps into every pitch so he can reach that outside pitch. Harvey Keene. And there's a drive deep to left. If it's fair, it's in there. A home run in the upper deck for Harvey Keene. The ball bounces back on the field. And there's Harvey Keene. And he was due to hit one. take a two to one lead as the boys pat him on the back and shake his hand. And that'll bring up Al Kaline who beat out a bunt in the second inning. Two away. Strike one. Harvey Keene really stepped into that fastball and parked it in the upper deck. Ball bounced all the way down on the field. Strike two on the outside corner. Al thought that ball was outside. A little bit upset, Mr. Kaline. There's a base hit into left field. Seaman up with the ball. And Kaline safe at first base on his second base hit. A solid single to left field. That's hit number three. Off Sal Magley and the batter Charlie Maxwell who walked in the second inning. And there's Art Dittmar getting up in the Yankee bullpen. There's a drive to right center for a base hit. K-line around second base, heading for third. And into second base goes Charlie Maxwell with a double. Charlie Maxwell dusting himself off at second base. And with two out, the Tigers come to life. A home run by Harvey Keene, a single by K-Line, and a double by Maxwell. Yogi Berra out on the mound talking with Sal Magley. Art Dittmar continues to warm up. And as Casey Stengel talking with the pitching coach Jim Turner. Casey waving his arms. He wants something done here. He's twirling the Yogi. Looks like he wants maybe Ray Boone put on. And he's telling him <laughs> some kind of a signal there, man. That was a dandy. <laughs> Yogi's got to be a sign reader. <laughs> that's Ray Bourne there. Oh, that Stengel's a dandy. 
They're going to put him on. That was the signal. They're going to walk Boone intentionally. And, of course, the fans booing a little bit. They don't realize the strategy of the play. They'd rather pitch to Batoya than pitch to Ray Boone. And with first base opening, they're putting Ray Boone on. Boone sacrificed in the first in the second inning, so he's has not been up officially. There's ball four. Ray Boone gets a pass to first base. Down at second, Charlie Maxwell, and then over at third base, Al Kaline. The bases are loaded. Art Dittmar warming up for the Yankees down the right field bullpen. And here's Reno Batoya, who drove in the first run of the ball game on a slow bounder back to the mound. Two away in the top of the fourth. The Tigers two and the Yankees one. Strike one. It's the last of the third. Pardon me. The last of the third. They have a beautiful new scoreboard here at Briggs Stadium. Just was put in over the winter. Sal the Barber Magley on the mound. The old master in a little bit of trouble this inning. Strike two, sidearm curveball. Jack Murphy, who has followed the Giants for many years, you can tell me every pitch Magley's going to throw sitting right alongside of me here. In the dirt, Yogi blocks the ball nicely. That ball hit about a foot in front of home plate. K line goes back to third. One ball, two strikes. Sal Magley rubbing up that baseball. Familiar habit of the Barbers. Two men out in the last of the third. Ground ball to third. Lumpy steps on third base for the force out. Unassisted. And for the Tigers in the last of the third. One run on three base hits. No Yankee errors and three men left on base. The score at the end of three full innings, the Tigers two and the Yankees one. Sal walking to the dugout. You never see Sal get excited. He takes things in stride, which is the mark of a true champion. There's Frank Larry on the hill for the Tigers. Remember, fans, Old Timers Day, the highlight event of the year at Yankee Stadium, will be held on Saturday afternoon, August the 9th, when the Red Sox with Big Ted Williams will be stadium visitors. Good seats are available for this wonderful occasion, and you better get your tickets now because Old Timers Day has always been a popular day at Yankee Stadium. Yes, sir, it's true what they say about Winston. In crush-proof box or regular pack, Winston tastes good, like a cigarette should. And don't forget, after the ball game, stay tuned for the inside pitch with Bob Wolf and today's interview, John, Joe Paparella, the umpire, and Johnny Noon, the Yankee scout. You'll get views on two different angles of baseball, umpiring and scouting. Here's Mickey Mantle who hit into a force play in the first inning, but got credit for an RBI when a run scored. Mickey's 0 for 1. He has an 11-game hitting streak on the line. Ball one. Mickey wants a look at that baseball. In the American League, Baltimore 2, Chicago 2 at the end of 3, Odell against Keegan. Odell had a home in the second. Sullivan against Kellner, Boston at Kansas City. Cleveland leads Washington 3 to nothing at the end of 5 and a half. Stobbs against Marcy. Ball 2, 2 or nothing. In the National League, Cardinals 1, Pirates 1 at the end of 7 and a half. Jackson against Friend. Cincinnati two, the Dodgers one at the end of four and a half. There's Gil McDougal on deck. Newcomb against Klipstein. 
Ball three, three and nothing. Larry and Wilson both thought that pitch was over. Frank Strong Larry, nicknamed Bulldog, and he's really built. Solid. The Phillies lead the Cubs four to three at the end of five innings. Strike one, three and one on Mickey. Jot is going against Simmons. Anderson a home in the first, a in the fifth with one on. And they want to look at that baseball again. 